Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert HVAC. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can download our application to the N172 using uh, your uh, Ethernet cable. So let's go to the presentation. So this method is only for the N172 performance because the optimized doesn't have the Ethernet port. So this method is going to be only for that at the moment. So, uh, once we have a PLC, a brand new PLC, okay, this is the default configuration of the IP address. Okay, we have all this already named, which is good. Okay, then we cannot directly connect using the software because there is one specific port that is disabled, which is this one, the TCP IP. So this is due to our security. Um, I believe it's starting for the firmware dot 10 of the controllers, don't remember 10, whatever, something like that. But in the firmware, the newer, this is enabled as soon as you uh, retrieve from the box. So. If you want to connect directly to the controller, uh, it, it's not going to be possible. Okay, there are a few things that we need to do first. Of course, you can use the USB cable, it's going to be very straightforward. Uh, but if you want to use Ethernet, there is something that you need to check. You can ping the device, there is no problem with that, but it's one specific port that we need. This one, TCP IP, that is disabled by default. Okay. The HTTP, that is the one that we use for accessing to the web page of the um, N172, is now disabled, so we can access to that, make the changes, and then enable everything. So, what we need to do first is to be in the same network as the controller. Okay. Um, so, in order to do that, we just need to go to the Open in the other window. Control panel. Just need to network sharing. Find a wrong. Uh, we just go change adapters. In my case, this one. Properties. And then here, properties change. You just need to put the IP address on the range of the controller that you want to use okay and that will allow you to ping the device for the test in my case I have already changed that IP address to 192.168.1.172 okay so I can ping it directly but this is important for you change it over here okay this is for the first thing that you need to do okay we can try to ping it. My IP is going to be different, but I can show you that it works. It's how you can ping the device. So in my case, the PLC okay, is the, let me show you this. So I have this Ethernet cable over here. Just, no, let me just ping the device. In one nine two one six five dot one dot one seven two minus D and ping it. I remove the cable. Okay, it's over here. Time out. I'm going to put it back. And it's back again. Okay, just to show you how it's done. So you need to be careful here trying to be in the same network as the computer, as the PLC. This is just a suggested IP address, okay? Just add 110, whatever you want. Then, in order to connect to the controller, we just need to do something similar that we have done with the USB. So, here, online set that communication. We just need to select mode of TCP activated properties 
and insert the IP address of our equipment. In your case, it will be 0, 10 .0, 0, 0 0.0.100, okay, which is the PLC. But in my case, it's going to be 192.168.172. And then just OK. OK. And then you should be able to connect to the device. OK. Let me just see what's going on here. Want to forget about anything. You can use the online connect or the, on the top, you have this top project, toolbar project. Then, if we haven't done anything, okay, we shouldn't communicate with the PLC and we should be able to see this message. Unable to start communication. And it will tell us this. Most TCP is disabled on IP address, blah, 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 blah. In your case, we the 10. Dot zero dot zero dot one hundred, and then it will it will go, okay, to the web to the website of the PLC, okay, where you can change everything. So, how do we access to this? So, if you press OK, um, and if or if you close it, it will open that automatically for you, um. Let me just open my Silicon uh, Firefox. Let's just change access to the IP address. We have Evo Index dot htm uh, username username is going to be administrator and then I changed mine but it's going to be in your case password okay and this is the the default web page of the device when you enter okay if you type the ap address and enter after the password then you will need to go to ethernet to have this already enabled so by default you're going to have this this one already enabled that zero is 80 okay by default which is the one that allows you to access to the web page then you have the ftp that you can change that but this one, port ETH, EI, is the one that we need to change in order to connect via the software. So, once we open the website, the, this website, we just change this. We have also a possibility to change the IP address, okay? And then just look, uh, close this. Probably a power cycle of the equipment will be fine. And then just have the connection once again and if if you want the new IP address. Okay, so in this case you just enable the port to communicate with the PLC and if you want to change the IP address. But once you change it, you need to remember that you need to change also the IP address of your computer to be in the same range of the controller. So once this is connected and then to just be able to connect with the device. So, connect, and we have different options here. We have, uh, here in the bottom, you should be able to see I am connected, before it was not connected. And here is the status. So here in the status, we have no code, diff code sim, which is that one, and code OK, which is in green. And then we have edit mode. And if you want, we just go to debug to see the real time uh, what's going on on the variables um, but I believe that I will explain it I believe or it's going to be explained later um, but let's continue with this so this is a message I already explained that to you if you have this message before we just need to change it the TCP IP value from 65535 another value the standard will be 502 
then we just connect to the controller or it mentioned this and we have the three different styles no code source of okay, k and dip code no code there is no code we just need to download source of okay, k this is the same that we have downloaded in the controller and different code is we have a code and it's different to the one that we have in our computer simple as that and then we have different kind of downloads so the one that i show you uh, i didn't show you i just connect so to connect now in order to change the code we have different options we have download code or download all if you want to download just the code which is in the programming just download code okay if you want to send to the controller the application that you have for the display the settings the default values that you have and the um, configuration of the hardware okay for example if you're going to use the ethernet for as a um, client server or the mod bus serial as a master slave the bugnet then you just need to make a full download of okay probably it's going to be the best when you start with the controller full of all, all so it just unload everything that you need to okay uh something important is that the website is not unload over here that is a different process i'm going to explain that later on the previous videos i just quickly show you how it's done um so connect to the ethernet cable check the command with the pin access to the web to check the eth port so by default if you have a new plc you need to change this if you want the ethernet communication compute the connection the ethernet port and download an application this is going to do it now so here i'm just going to download the code of the plc and this is source okay so there is nothing else to do just wait for this to finish so this is how we can download only the application or the plc okay if you want to download the display once you are connected you can download the display part but i'm going to explain that later if you want to have the complete project download the binary code just download all that that would be the best thing to do on the first uh download that you need to do Let's see if I got something. No. Something important is not mentioned here is that uh, you can connect via USB cable if you want over here. Properties is number eight. If you saw the previous video, you know why I get the number eight. You can go to BIOS, Ethernet, and then change this. To the value that you want read download and it will change to the value that you want and it's important in the configuration once you are in the bios to have you ready to find this so you avoid further things okay so this is how we can download our application via ethernet to the m132 so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one Thank you.